The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. What's up, Raider Nation? Coming back at you again with another video, Silver and Black Attack here. So we're going to get right in here today to a hypothetical trade scenario that's been floating around these last few days. As you've probably seen the Raiders report by Mitchell Renz and a few other YouTubers who have uh, mentioned this. We're going to get right into this here, Raider Nation. And with this hypothetical trade rumor that's been going around, the Raiders would be looking to trade up in the second round to select Michael Penix Jr. out of Washington, which we've made videos on in the past. But it's eerily similar to when the Raiders traded up in the second round of the 2014 NFL draft and ended up getting Derek Carr. But the Raiders ended up trading up to, I believe Carr was one of the first two picks, I believe, in the second round of the 2014 NFL draft. Some might say that worked out, but some might say it didn't. And uh, that's a whole discussion for another video. That's a that's a pretty big debate. But we won nothing. We won zero rings. Carr was, Carr was that guy. We didn't win anything. We didn't even win a playoff game. Forget rings. I don't know why I'm talking about rings. We didn't even win a playoff game, uh, let alone two playoff appearances. But we're in dire need now of a quarterback. And if you look in the if you look in the draft next year, if we're looking ahead to the 2025 draft, there's really no quarterback that's gonna be worthy of you know being taken in the top two rounds. I mean, that's that's subject to change based off how the college football season goes. But as of right now, I mean the there's some pretty shit quarterbacks in the draft, you know, who are gonna be committing. Uh, next year but so a couple of the trade scenarios we've been seeing have been that <clears throat> Raiders would trade their second overall pick the 44th overall as well as the third round pick and a third round pick next year in exchange for the first round pick this year later in the round for the 21st overall pick so it would be essentially trading uh for another first round pick at 21 and possibly taking Michael Penix there which has been the rumor, but it would take a lot to, you know, buy the Dolphins first round pick from them. But if you were to trade two third round picks and a second round pick for another first round pick, I believe they can go ahead and get their guy. And if they're really looking at Michael Penix and they're really confident with what he has, you know, we, Johan went over it in the last video, what Michael Penix brings to the table. And I mean, I feel like personally, he would be he would be a good quarterback. He would be good for us, and you know he fits our need. Okay, like people have been commenting, we have our pocket passer in Aiden O'Connell. Like Michael Penix is, you know, he's I wouldn't say he's a dual threat quarterback. He can move, you know, and he can probably move better than Aiden O'Connell. Really, anyone can move better than Aiden O'Connell. But the Raiders won. The Raiders went five and four in their last nine last year with AOC. So it'll be interesting to see if AOC, Gardner Minshew, or if this trade ends up working out, then the Raiders can snag Michael Penix at 21st because it's not expected for Michael Penix to go early in this draft. And realistically, at the 44th overall pick in the second round, he might still be there considering all the teams that need quarterbacks are going to get their QBs in the first round. This trade really stems from the fact that the Raiders aren't really sure what they're going to do at quarterback. And Michael Penick's draft stock has just been consistently falling. And I'm not too sure, you know, how it's fallen so much. I mean, he had a decent combine performance. You know, I think the national championship performance last year was uh, pretty pathetic. And that's kind of what's hurting his stock. Plus, look at all the great guys in the draft this year. You got Caleb 
Drake May, Jaden Daniels, even, you know, guys like Spencer Rattler we discussed earlier in a different video, which you guys seem to love. And uh, we got a lot of comments on that one that we responded to every single one. But there were some pretty great comments on that video. And Spencer Rattler hopefully will not be hopefully will not be the Raiders quarterback next year. But if the Dolphins really do choose to trade their first round pick this year, it's gonna be for a lot. I mean, the Raiders are gonna the Raiders are gonna have to offer, you know, maybe like three or four total second and third round picks rather than just a you know first round pick in the future because that's not gonna get it done. That's not gonna get it done in general. Raiders should also really look for an offensive line piece. I think now with Greg Van Roten being a free agent and visiting teams in the East Coast this past week, you know, we're clear clearly we're clearly showing that you know we're gonna have some holes in the offensive line. And if they can't protect whoever's back there, it's not gonna matter if it's Michael Penix, Aiden O'Connell, Gardner Minshew. It's not gonna matter. They're gonna they're gonna just keep getting hit and keep getting decked, and it's it's gonna be a big issue. It's gonna be a big issue. And overall, I think this trade, if the Raiders and Dolphins were to hypothetically, you know, make this deal, it could definitely benefit us. But I don't know what you're gaining essentially you know, with trading up into the first round to grab Michael Penix, who's supposedly a second round guy at best, which is what all the guys have him at. But if the Raiders really like him and really want their guy and it's unrealistic to trade up for Jaden Daniels and get him, then I think that's for sure going to be a possibility. But Raider Nation, thanks for the likes, comments, subscribes. We really appreciate all of it, all the comments. We love responding to every single one of you. And um, yeah, signing off.